Hi, this is Jeff Naylor from Mtronics in Mesa, Arizona for Expert Village. In this section, we're going to be demonstrating proper heating techniques. And to illustrate my points, I'm going to be soldering this resistor onto this circuit board. Proper temperature is important for a consistent joint. With the 64 solder, I set my iron for 700 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature is hot enough to evenly heat the solder, but not too hot as to destroy electronic components in circuit board pads. For our first practice, I'm using a circuit board and a resistor. This side of the circuit board has all the artwork on it, but none of the electronic traces. On the other side, we can see where our two component legs come out. And this is where we will be applying solder. Now instead of actually touching my iron to the solder, I'm going to heat the surface I wish to apply the solder to. In this case, it's this pad and this wire. So I will wedge my soldering iron tip between the two. Now, just to start the heat conduction, I will tap it with a little touch of solder. And now I will go around the back side and start building up solder. Now we heat the solder until you see the impurities in the surface bubbling up. Once the impurities have boiled off, the solder has become hot enough to provide a strong joint. You can see this is a good strong joint because it is nice and shiny and even all the way around. Now before returning the iron to the holder, we scrape off any impurities, tap it, and return.